been asked time and again how I take the herbs out of my garden and dry them and keep them uh, for uh, the rest of the winter and longer. And all I do is simply gather them and then I'll lay them down on a flat surface and I'll put uh, the ends kind of all in a line and then I'll pick up the bundle and tie them with a string. And then you just bring them inside and hang them up somewhere. Um, here's a cute little feather hanging that uh, I got at a exchange, a tea exchange. Some lady sent me a wonderful little letter about feathers and her grandmother. And I get to remember that. But this is my tea cabinet. And so I have one hung up a little higher and I have one hung a little lower. And they make such a great uh, decoration. I mean, it just feels so homey. And then this is a little uh, too homey. <laughs> a little too much. But um, here are the larger bunches. So I do kind of sort them by length of... Uh, the um, stem um, when I put them up. So the other ones were little, but you can just hang them up as decoration anywhere. Check, check out my sweet potato being eat. I may have to just plant that. <laughs> and then anyway, so then they come out and I put them in uh, jars like this. This is lemon thyme. And um, I'll show you uh, the next step after these dry uh, that I do before I can uh, put them in little jars. Sometimes I put them in leftover tea containers as well. And here's some uh, uh, lemon thyme uh, drying on my table. I mean, sometimes I hang this up and sometimes I just simply put it in a bowl and turn it over. I think the key is uh, air. Um, I did ruin a whole batch of them by putting them directly in uh, plastic baggies and leaving the bags open and putting um, paper towel in the bags hoping that would absorb the moisture and instead they kind of uh, got moldy and so I um, learned my lesson not to ruin them again so I think the key is that they uh, the, you let the uh, moisture escape as they dry I have tried drying them in the oven and that did not work very well either. They didn't stay uh, green. Um, so the lemon thyme is such small branches. I have hung it, but they're smaller branches. So sometimes they just look pretty sitting on a table. And uh, so when I get done, I'll show you the next step after they dry. I'll have to pay attention to how long they dry so I can share that with you. But you can see they've stayed uh, green and pretty. I'd open this up, uh, but I only have one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other hand. Okay, till the next video. Okay, I hung these on Sunday, and today is Wednesday, and some of them up here are getting crunchy already. See, it doesn't take long for them to dry out. Down here, I feel them. They're still, um, you know, it's not crunchy, crunchy like a fall leaf that wants to crumble in your hands. So they're not quite ready for me to take down for the next step. But every time I pass by them, they smell so good. Smell so good. I love smelling them. Okay, it's been um, six days and these have actually been ready for a couple days. Now, so you see it doesn't take very long for them to dry. Um, here at the bottom, you see that they feel really crunchy, like they're just going to fall apart, and they do. So I've already cut down uh, two of them, and um, here's how what I do next, the next step. So I've got a bowl, and I just put them in baggies, and uh, you can see the lemon thyme that was in a bowl. I almost have it done. And this is hard to do while I'm holding my cell phone. But basically, this is so therapeutic. I sit and watch TV or I'll sit outside and just listen to the birds. 
but basically I just scrunch it through my fingers and I feel for little sticks like this one. Well, that one's got there, see? And then I just throw it in the bowl and, uh, you know, get rid of the bowl later. So see here in the big one, you know, I just reach in and feel around and there's a stick and I get rid of them. And I just keep scrunching them between my fingers like this inside the bag and pulling out. And it makes them really fine and small when you're, you know, it's therapeutic. It's like one of those, you know, uh, stress balls that you squeeze. And you just keep doing that and, to, and, and finding the little sticks and things and putting them in, you know, and then I just dump that in the trash. Okay, so I've cut these down. And um, when you first start putting them in the bag, it's a little difficult. You've got to pull out these stems and all you do is to simply run your finger down it like that and then put it in your bowl that you're going to be getting rid of. So I'm going to get another one. And you just you keep it in the bag so it falls in the bag and see. And so um, in the beginning you get rid of a lot of the bulk pretty quickly. And this part isn't as fun as when you, you know, pick up these and you do the therapeutic part and you find the sticks and you we like to sit and talk over the kitchen table and and I'll give him a bag and I'll do a bag so anyway uh, this is lemon thyme I mean this is lemon thyme this is uh, lemon balm and mint that I'm working on here and I'm going to show you now uh, here is some lemon Time, this same as this that I did earlier and you can see how green it still is and this one was done maybe six months ago and it's so great in scones or um, uh, cookies um, I have some recipes that I use this mint you see how uh, green it still is I don't know if you can tell there we go. This was this is over a year old, and it's still green. So when I hang it up and do this method, it stays really good. And sometimes I'll pick it up and scrunch it between my fingers just to make the leaves smaller again. And um, then to use it, other than in baking and uh, sometimes in you know, food, um, I uh, will just brew it up and to brew it up I have whoops my strainer here that I put in my cup and I could put just mint have just so look at that see if you continue to pull those out you don't want to put that in your cookie and have somebody eat it so um, I could just put the mint directly in here or what I often do will just take my loose leaf tea and I will, you know, just pinch, grab some of it and put it in here and then add the mint with it. That way I have like a black mint tea or a black thyme tea or the lemon balm. Actually, I've got some over on the stove. My water's heating. Now the lemon balm does make good tea just like it is. It's great. Uh, one for sleepy time tea and the lemon balm is so easy to grow so uh, next time spring rolls around uh, they have them in the flower shops these herbs and just go out and buy some and stick them I just stick mine in with my um, uh, flowers um, in and amongst my flowers uh, anywhere you can stick it in the ground and uh, they do come back year after year so you can see the leaves are still big, but that it, it'll take me several days uh, to get that lemon balm to be this size and or this size. Uh, and But like I said, every once in a while, watching TV or just sitting around, you pick it up and um, have good therapy. <laughs> and then you get to drink the tea or the scones and have good therapy. Okay.
that's about it that I have for you. I hope uh, this video helped. Bye. So I've been busy and not able to finish this project and it's still held up really well in the plastic bag. I've kept the bag open and I'm trying to finish it. You see I'm getting a few more hard stuff out and every time I do this, it smells so good. I just love to sit and smell it. And then, you know, here's, here's a little uh, stick, very little. But um, you just, as you uh, crunch it up in your hands, looking for sticks, the pieces get smaller and smaller. And these are dried enough. I'm just trying to get out the rest of the sticks. See, there's one. They're not good when you go to cook. They are okay in tea because, you know, you strain the leaves anyway in tea, but they're not good if you uh, put this in food. Oh, so therapeutic. If I only had a smell of vision And here is the mess of the finished product. I am managing to put most of it in this jar. I have a little bit in the little jar. You see, it's hard to get into the jars. And I end up scraping it off the edge of the table into my hand and filling it. I did want to show you, this is from last year. This mint is over a year old. And you see it's still, plenty green and this stuff is great to share. Um, I did end up uh, mixing the lemon balm and the mint because I inadvertently did that. Um, I have to remember to label the two when I take them off the branches and hang them up because after they dry um, it's hard to uh, discern which is which so I have a lemon no, I had a, let's see, it was lemon balm and mint. Lemon balm and mint mixture. Fantabulous. These can make great gifts when you put them in the little jars like this. Bye. Oh, and you remember my sweet potato that had taken off? Well, I stuck it in some water. I, I think you're supposed to put toothpicks in it or something, but anyway, I just stuck it in water, and you can see it's starting to get roots down here. Pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Hopefully I can keep it growing. Time will tell.